Forget me not. Did you forget about the exam? I'm coming! What a pain. Oh, great! Our game's ruined. Mm. You too? I was gonna study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book? Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees, they always bear fruit. Ah, candy trees, tree of knowledge. Oh dear. Right, what else does it say? The forget-me-nut, an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! Hmm... I'll eat it up and get an A for sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut, so 100 years or not, it's mine. Suppose trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. Walnuts all empty? Mm -hmm. Mm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just, I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Anyway, you can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-nut is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. 
That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. <laughs> the greatest of them all. You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Aww. Calm down. Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red. Hmm. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical sunshine bunnies as well. <gasps> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops. Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant, tell me truly, please, who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch, Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm, Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure, but the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh, no. Do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> and some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week, or next week. Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! <laughs> That's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will, too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> the Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! See that? Even the bunnies love me now. <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, wait! Stop still! Uh, stop still! I caught it! Hooray! Oh! 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 Give me my mirror! The world has to...
to know the truth. Where'd you go? Aha, there you are. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's a monster! Help! It's okay. It's me, the protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? We were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken, but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. Here you go. Give it a try. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! <gasps> to tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries oh. grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, yes we please. do. Yeah. Mirror, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. Good deeds. Thanks for helping me water the sleeping herb garden. Happy to provide a little rain. Dorma, you're a great gardener. Your herbs are actually glowing. Do all sleeping herbs have golden berries like this? They aren't berries. They're golden comet fragments. I read about them in a book by the great astronometer. Since you each found one, if each of you does a good deed for someone before sunset, your fragments will fly up into the sky and become golden stars. Golden stars? Are you serious? We are going to do such a huge good deed today. Then, our fragments will be the brightest stars in the entire night sky. And they'll be called... Oh, Super Uni. And the North Helen. We need the Owl. She knows everything that goes on here. If someone needs a good deed, she'll be able to tell us. Help me! Oh! It's a disaster! It's horrible! All my unpredicted berry pies exploded! It turns out that unpredicted berries really don't like being baked! Oh, and I have so much to do today! Oh, what a disaster! Oh. Don't you worry, we'll help clean up! Rooney, this is our good deed! <sighs> Washing some dishes? I don't think it's enough of a good deed! Well, take a few more! No, that's not what I mean! To make our stars shine brighter than the others, we need to do something that isn't just helpful, but something grandiose. And this... We'll just finish this quickly. Okay, let's go. There must be some really important good deeds somewhere out there. Come on! Everything okay here? No one's gotten smaller. No one's stuck in a mirror, gingerbread acting weird. No. Is your tree solid? Magic all under control? The gauntlets have it run off? Uh-uh. Huh. <gasps> Minnie, look! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Emergency squirrel meeting! Do you think something's happened? Definitely! Someone's bewitched the forest, and we're going to save it! Which will be an international good deed! Show yourself, you nasty sneaky... <gasps> Nut? All that commotion was just about giant nuts? Those could feed all the squirrels in Wondermont! They're going to have quite the feast! That is, if we help them roll the nuts up that hill. Usually, every day is an adventure here, but today, it's just washing up and nut rolling. Talk about bad luck! If we don't find a better good deed, people will need a telescope to see our stars. Even Baba Yaga isn't up to no good today. Or is she? Let's find out. 
I hope Baba Yaga is planting something beastly. The nastier and more unpleasant, the better. Bingo! Baba Yaga has put a spell on someone. Thank you, Grandma. Do you think it's Lessie? I hope so. I sense a great good deed awaits us. Let's rescue him. Follow me. Ugh. Look, that's it. The more stubborn the bush, the brighter our stars. Just a bit more. Nearly there. Oh. 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 Hello there. Where is Leshy? What am I, his secretary? Only Leshy knows where Leshy is. So, there is no one who needs saving? No one needs saving? Me! I need it! How do you expect me to cope with these horrible prickly plants? No spell can get rid of them. They grow wherever they like and it's ruined my whole garden. Oh, if only someone could get rid of them for a poor old lady. It would be a very good deed indeed. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? I've been growing those weeds all year. <laughs> it's the roses you need to pull out. Roses. What? Yes. Just look at them. They're ruining my whole weed garden. <gasps> and speed it up a bit. Time's getting on. It's nearly sunset. Nearly sunset? We're out of time. Oh, not a single proper good deed all day. Ready, look. <gasps> <laughs> Well, well. I see that today was a day for good deeds. In fact, quite a few good deeds. You must have been working hard. <laughs> we didn't do anything special, though. We did the dishes in the kitchen. And then moved nuts for squirrels. Yeah, and we weeded a garden, sort of. You think that's nothing special? Look, see? Your work in the kitchen allowed the owl to come assist me. Together, we found some valuable old instructions that the Magical Council long believed to be lost. And because all the squirrels were able to fortify themselves with the giant nuts, the Squirrel Express ran at full speed and delivered the instructions to all the wizards. And now, with these in hand, the Council can create new enchantments. They helped the Magical Council? That's pretty cool. And you helped me. Well, the heart. It's foot hurt, you see. It's so lazy. In short, I made an ointment from the weeds. The ones you pulled today. And these are for you. Because I've never liked them. Can't stand the color. There, you see? Even the smallest good deed can have a big impact on someone, somewhere. And they say that those thoughtful people who do good deeds have... <gasps> a heart of gold! The Star Globe. That constellation is the giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronometer's book. Then the next one is the big dragon. Amazing. Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon. Only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? 
That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah! Oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on. We need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. <gasps> way to go, Dorma. After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa! It's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick! <laughs> Now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <laughs> astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> Even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer? Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Happy Snowland Day! Put that table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing? Uh -oh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> like the most beautiful dress ever. No, five of the most beautiful dresses. I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up to early. I've always wanted eye slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Not 
magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> you wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests. As quick as can be to the holiday tree. A flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah! Ooh, to the right! Oh, I mean to the left! Huh? <gasps> ah! 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 Did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. <laughs> She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. Bye now. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. Oh, go away. I don't want to come to your party. <laughs> My gift! We did it! Yes! Back to school. I think that our carpet is frozen. Ah! Oh no. We won't make it back in time for the party. And the cards won't make it at all. Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the hey, kids are simply... We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool! We had to walk back. But look! We saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away! <gasps> the six-legged beast! It worked! Too glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowland Day! 
the Wondermont Boomerang. Woo! Cat's twist. Woo! Watch this. Sauté and pointe. Like a real ballerina. You've reached new heights. And now this. My signature move. The Rooney Double Flying Rainbow Move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four. Ha! Did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, want a bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Hey! <laughs> Keep it up! You're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Hey! Uh, 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 <laughs> Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Enhancer, of course. With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero. Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <laughs> well, Professor, isn't it just... Wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea. <laughs> yes, we don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. <laughs> Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile. Smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. 
That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermond... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You're bossy. Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve, and yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> And soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <sighs> well then, let's replace Helen. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There! Oh, Helen! 
Yoo-hoo! Where are you? We just want to play. Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away. Not yet. Toma, hold up the mirror. But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey, you, Mira! Give Doria back! We only want our Doria! Give her back! Doria! Doria! You're back. back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want you. <laughs> Midnight Magic. Is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Doria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal. Look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at E2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> 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 I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. 
Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how! We smashed it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains. Who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cost it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? <laughs> Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Too? Girls, you please stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for Magic Home Economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school.
As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style of the last hmm. hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. That's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Uh, Professor! Uh. Where is the immortal? Uh. Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! Uh. Uh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell? To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There, this will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good. Cut, rewind. Show it to me. Playback. Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it! This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? 
Uh, it's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! Uh. <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. Girls. No need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to... Rooney and Dari, it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm, just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> the bottle. Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? What a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Find us and wind us. <gasps> well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars. Just you wait, brats. Hey, Falcon, Falcon. It's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become. Daria, chop the spell quick. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no. It shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Uh, yeah. I'm in charge now. Hmm. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! <sighs> and girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready! I'm going to give them a fright! Hey, stop crying! Beg me to set you free at once! <gasps> what? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah! Bind us on this! <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! Winders on winders. Ah! Hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> <laughs> We did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rooney! Right Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. 
Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs>